owned a bike. What he would do was pick up bikes. <laughs> he would steal all the bikes. It's true, I'm embarrassed to tell you, but it's true. He, he would steal those bikes. If they were at some corner, he'd just pick it up and off he would go. <laughs> and as a result of pedaling up and down those streets of Los Angeles, he developed some legs you just would not believe. <laughs> Am I right? His cat. Yes, his cat. That was one of his trademarks for, you know, for his cat. Then as he got older, he and this Mike guy over here, um, <laughs> I'm unfortunate to tell you, but this, you have to hear this so that you'll understand the happy ending. But anyhow, he started burglarizing, I understand, for a lot of electronic equipment, breaking into buildings, offices, this kind of a thing. Am I right, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. He even told me that he used to climb up on the rooftops and then break in uh, into those from the top windows. I just can't imagine this kind of thing. This you poor mother. You got to tell him about 21 and his television he took out and was carrying down the street. <laughs> yeah, for everybody to see. Anyhow, so, so he got into big trouble doing that. Um, he eventually did get caught, apprehended, thank God. He, was, uh, he attended Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles, and the police came one day and took him away. And because he was the oldest of the lot, he was sent to a detention camp uh, in the Malibu Hills. Uh, and, yeah, in the Malibu Hills, it was a, a David Gonzalez detention, a detention camp for juveniles, juvenile delinquents. He entered angry, uh, ticked that he was caught, um, and, and even more rebellious. Until, praise God, hallelujah, until one night he told me he was lying in his bunk and he heard one kid, one detainee, trying to escape, and the law, the, um, what do you call it, the, um, the, the what? The authorities. The authorities. The authorities would be a better word, yeah. The authorities were chasing after this kid, trying to catch him. And for some reason, right then and there, he made a com complete mindset, mindset change, change of attitude uh, to the wrong that we know, you know, for the rest of his life. And he decided he did not want to live this kind of a life anymore, running away from the law, being uh, sneaky. Uh, into burglary and you know running away from the law or the law chasing him. So he woke up the next morning and like I said he was a changed teenager and I believe he was like a sophomore or junior in high school something like that. He took in all the academics that were offered. He excelled in the academics at this camp. He took in all the counseling that was offered, all the mentoring that was offered, but mostly he took in that heavy duty work. I love it. Climbing those hills and mountains of Malibu, digging fire bricks um, all day for about four to five hours, maybe even six. And doing that, he developed upper body strength and muscular to be the Rollin that we, that we know. So we're talking big thighs and a heavy upper body. Okay, because he had such a great attitude change um, and excelled in everything that was 